What if everything we thought we knew about the universe was wrong? The James Webb Telescope has now provided us with the most frighteningly clear image of Proxima b, an exoplanet similar to Earth that is located right in our cosmic neighborhood. The scariest thing about this world is that Proxima b may be inhabited, but whoever lives there isn't answering our radio signals. Exoplanets are fascinating worlds that are located outside our solar system. These distant worlds are highly interesting to us humans, but at the same time, they can also be frightening. We can detect other planets in the vastness of space, but we cannot see them in detail, and we have only very limited possibilities to make contact. For many years, we have had to accept that we are discovering planets in the universe that resemble our Earth in droves, and theoretically, there could be life there. But so far, we have not been able to answer the question of whether there really are extraterrestrial civilizations out there and what we should think of these creatures. Right around the galactic corner is the Proxima Centauri system, and within this system is a world that could be very similar to Earth. We have tried to make contact, but so far, our calls have not been answered. Since we humans definitely want to continue our search for other planets and life forms in space, we have built the best and most expensive telescope ever. The James Webb Space Telescope cost $11 billion and will finally provide us with answers to many unanswered questions. The telescope's analyses are now providing definitive clarity about what is really going on on the exoplanet Proxima b. Proxima b, the next inhabited exoplanet? Imagine that an extraterrestrial civilization is living practically right on our doorstep and we didn't even know it. Researchers were amazed when they discovered an Earth-like planet in 2016 in our neighboring star system of all places. Proxima b was detected by a team led by scientist Guillaume Anglada Escude and studied in detail over the following months. Since then, Proxima b has been the closest known exoplanet to Earth at a distance of about 4.24 light-years and was long considered a super-Earth. The discovery of Proxima b was a scientific miracle and sparked worldwide hype. This rocky world was so strikingly similar to our own that scientists were simply thrilled. The planet has at least 1.17 Earth masses, orbits its star in the habitable zone where liquid water could potentially exist, and has an average surface temperature of negative 39 degrees Celsius. The discovery was not only celebrated in professional circles, but also welcomed worldwide by space enthusiasts and alien hunters. Proxima b was one of the main topics in the media for weeks. Could it be that there is life in our immediate cosmic neighborhood after all? And could it be that it has been there all these years and we just haven't seen it? The reports and expectations were overwhelming. SETI, the organization for detecting alien technology signatures in space pointed all available antennas at Proxima b and shortly thereafter, the first radio signals were sent in the direction of the planet. However, no one has responded to date, and shortly after the hype, it may have become known why no response has been received so far. New research results emerged that raised doubts. Proxima b showed signs of a bound orbit in new studies, which means that the planet has a day side and a night side. The day side is then probably too hot for life, and the night side too cold. But researchers found a transition zone that is thought to be several thousand kilometers wide. Life could exist there. So hopes did not fade completely, but then came the next report, which hit UFO enthusiasts and alien advocates. Scientists observed an extreme flare that was blown from the star Proxima Centauri towards its closest planet. If Proxima b has an atmosphere, it would be in serious danger from such streams of particles from its star, since this mass ejection from the star Proxima Centauri was probably not a one-time event. We can assume that the planet Proxima b is constantly exposed to such extreme solar winds and that the probability of life or the existence of a higher civilization on this planet is becoming increasingly unlikely. Proxima b orbits its star extremely close. It only takes about 11.2 Earth days for one orbit. The fact that Proxima b is theoretically still in the habitable zone is because Proxima Centauri is a very faint star. Despite this lower luminosity, the particle winds from this star are no less dangerous. Proxima Centauri, a paradise for exoplanets?
Proxima Centauri is the closest neighbor to our Sun and falls into the category of red dwarf stars or M-type stars. Red dwarfs have only a fraction of the brightness of our own Sun. Proxima Centauri, for example, is only 0.0015 times the brightness of our Sun and its surface temperature is also only about 3042 Kelvin. Nevertheless, Proxima Centauri is an active star that frequently emits solar flares and strong solar winds, which could affect the potential habitability of its planets. In the Proxima Centauri star system, there are many more interesting planets. Researchers have found evidence of another rocky world, similar to Proxima b, and they have found traces of at least two other planets that could resemble our Jupiter or even Neptune. The star system Proxima Centauri is highly interesting for our researchers because it's only part of the much larger Alpha Centauri system, which consists of three stars. Alpha Centauri A is similar to our Sun, Alpha Centauri B is slightly smaller than the Sun, and Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf that at first glance does not really seem to fit with the other two. Alpha Centauri A and B were probably born in the same dust and gas cloud, but Proxima Centauri is so different from the other two that the star may have formed elsewhere. Proxima Centauri may have been a neighbor of the twin stars and then was captured by their gravity. However, that did not cause this star to form a less rich world. So far, researchers have found no evidence for exoplanets around the two larger stars, but they have found plenty of evidence for planets around the small star Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is only about 0.21 light years away from its brothers Alpha Centauri A and B on average, but it has a very different orbit. The elliptical rounds that this star makes take it far beyond the orbits of the other two. It's interesting to note that Alpha Centauri was long thought to be a single star. It was only when telescopes improved that astronomers saw that it was very likely two stars. Proxima Centauri was only discovered in 1915 when the first electric telescopes provided an even better view. And now, we are in the midst of the era of the best telescope of all time. In 2022, the James Webb launched a completely new dimension of space exploration. James Webb, the clearest image of Proxima b. It's frightening what this telescope can do. With the help of the JWST, we can detect the light of distant alien worlds and thus have the opportunity for the first time to track down highly developed civilizations in space. With its MIRI spectrometer, the JWST can easily distinguish artificial light sources from natural ones. In theory, MIRI can detect large light sources such as cities, airports, or industrial plants on distant planets. Instruments such as the NIRCAM and NIRSPEC have been designed to analyze the environment of distant worlds and, for example, to find traces of water. But the highlight of the new telescope is the 18 honeycomb-shaped and golden-coated mirrors that allow Webb to see further and deeper into space than all telescopes before it. Thanks to this ingenious technology, we have the clearest image of Proxima b we have ever seen. Once the analyses are complete, we will definitely know whether and how much water is on the planet, whether Proxima b has an atmosphere, and whether there are signs of biomarkers. Biomarkers are all gases and elements that support life. These include oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. At the moment, researchers are even working on a technology that will enable us to detect traces of simple organisms, such as unicellular organisms in the oceans of distant worlds in the not-too-distant future. What would happen if it turned out that Proxima b actually has an ocean? How likely would the possibilities for life be then? And probably, the most exciting question is whether there is also intelligent life there. A world full of plankton or algae would be a complete success for science. But secretly, we all hope for contact with another civilization similar to our own. SETI has launched an interesting project for this possible first contact. Although our radio messages from Proxima b have not yet been answered, SETI firmly believes that the Proxima Centauri system could be similar to ours and that there could be intelligent life there. The radio message was sent a few months after the planet was discovered, which means that it took until 2020 to get there. Proxima Centauri is a little over four light years away, so a reply back would take at least another four years. At the moment, 
We can't rule out the possibility of a reply. What we cannot know for now, however, is whether beings living there are even capable of picking up radio messages from space. We don't know whether other cultures are even familiar with radio technology or whether there might only be animals or other forms of life in distant worlds. Billionaire Yuri Milner is working with SETI to construct mini probes that will set off for Proxima Centauri at almost the speed of light in a few years. Equipped with cameras and minimalist measuring instruments, the spaceships, which are only a few centimeters in size, will be sent in masses to examine our neighboring star system. In addition to Webb's fantastic analyses, we will then have the first real images from this distant star system. Click subscribe now and don't miss any new videos.